So I remember when I lived in British Columbia, um, going to the area where the salmon swim against the stream uh, to go to die. They lay their eggs for the next generation, regardless of the consequences of their action. And uh, it's something that always inspired me. When you stand for a cause, often it feels like ludicrous. It feels like you're swimming against the current and it feels like you're heading toward your own hand. But um, it's not the case. You're actually generating the continuity of the generation of salmons that are continuing. And I guess I'd like to show to people that when you see that there's a better way to do things and you see other people who think that way, then there is a way to change um, what can be changed and not to give up. Because if it, if it feels right in your heart, then there's a reason for it. So you got to follow your heart and continue to swim. I did not live the academic path like most people. Um, I was a bit of a trouble youth. And also I was in the military for 22 years. It's quite different. Um, I never thought such an honor would happen. I guess the biggest moment where it started to make me realize that this is happening was when my 12 year old, uh, I have six children, but my 12 year old said, uh, called me Dr. Papa. And uh, it, it was like a hug to my heart. It was the coolest thing I've ever heard. <laughs>